Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of complex numbers. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that S is a set of Z which belongs to complex numbers. And then we have been given a condition also that says conjugate of Z is equal to I into Z square plus real part of conjugate of z and then we have been told that we need to find the value of summation of mod of z the whole square where z belongs to all the complex numbers from z s and the total of that we have been given as four options the first option being 7 by 2 second option 4 third option 3 and the last option given to us is 5 by 2 so we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the question which is asked to us. Let's understand this. So if I try to solve this question further, I get this z belongs to complex number. So complex number, we know it is always given by x plus i y, where x is your real part and y with i which is there, it's called as your imaginary part of the complex. So if I have z as x plus i y, conjugate of that becomes x minus. So we have this idea already proved. Now further, if I talk about the condition it's given to us that says conjugate of z is equal to i into z square plus real part of conjugate of z. So if I try to solve this, I know x minus i y is equal to i. Or z square basically becomes x plus i y the whole square plus real part of x minus i y. So you get from this expansion x minus i y is equal to i. This if I expand a plus b the whole square it gives you a square plus 2 a b plus b square that is i square y square i square is minus 1 y square plus real part of x minus i y which is x. So x minus i y is equal to i x square plus 2 x y i minus y square plus x. So we get this entire idea. Now further if I try to solve this I get x minus i y is equal to i x square plus 2 x y i into i i square which is minus 1 minus i y square plus here it is not x square, it is only x. So we are left with x into i, which is x i. So if I try to solve this for if I try to frame all the real parts together and imaginary parts together, I have minus 2xy only in the real part. Others are present with i. So if I take i common from them, I get x square minus y square plus x. So this is the entire function we have. Now, if I just equate the real and imaginary parts, equating the real parts, I get x is equal to minus 2xy. And equating the imaginary parts, I get that is equal to minus y is equal to x square minus y square plus x. Now, from this, if I try to solve it further, x plus 2xy is equal to 0 x common you get 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 that gives you x is equal to 0 or 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 which gives you y as 2y as minus 1 and y as minus 1. So you get the two values of x and one value so one value of x and one value of y. Now if I try to solve this idea putting this expression into condition let's see so if I try to solve this further, I get y square minus y is x square plus x. Now if I try to solve this further, let's see what I get. So I get here, if I put x as this, I get, let's say, first condition. If x, if I put at 0, I get y square minus y 
is equal to zero, y common y minus one is equal to zero. That gives you y is equal to zero or y is equal to one. So with x equal to zero, you get y equal to zero or y equal to one. That makes your complex number z as x plus i y, so zero plus zero i, or you get another value also zero plus one i. So you get two ideas for z. One is z is equal to zero or i. So you get two values of the complex number from one value of x. Now let's put y as minus half and check for x value also. So if I put y as minus half. Let's see what I get it. Y square minus y becomes y square minus y is we know already it's x square plus x. So x square plus x is equal to y square is one by four minus of minus half, so plus half. That makes it one plus two, three by four. So you get x square plus x minus three by four is equal to zero. You get a quadratic equation. If you solve it further, you get x as minus b plus minus root of b square minus four a c upon two. So x becomes minus one plus minus root of one. This and this gets cancelled plus three upon two. So you get x as minus one plus minus square root of four, which is two upon two. So you get x becoming minus one plus two upon two, or minus one minus two upon two. So that makes it one by two, or minus three by two. So you get this two values of x here from y. So if I see the complex number that makes it here as z is equal to half. And y was we substituted that as minus half, so half minus half i, or we get that as minus three by two minus half. So you get four complex numbers with this, which satisfy the entire expression. And the complex numbers, if I write it zero, i, then we have my half minus half i. And the last idea we have here is minus three by two and minus one by two. If I try to find we know mod of z for a complex number is given by root of x square plus y square. So if I want to find mod of z square is x square plus y square. So if I find mod of z square for all the four complex numbers which we have received, mod of z the whole square becomes x square plus y square, so zero square plus zero square is zero. Here you get zero square plus one square, which is one. Here you get half square plus minus half square, so one by four plus one by four, which is two by four, or I can write that as half. So half, and the other value I get here is minus three by two the whole square plus minus half. So you get it as three by four plus one by four, which is four by four, and that makes it. So you get that as also one. So you get these four values of mod of z square. Now we have been asked to just find sum of all the values of z which belong to z s. So we get that as zero plus one plus half plus one. So you get that as two plus half, which is five by two. So you get that answer as five by two. And if you see the option that matches your with the question. That turns out to become option D. So D is the correct answer of all the questions which is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. This was a pretty easy question. We just needed to substitute the values of mod of z and z in the expression, and we got here two conditions. One gave us x equal to zero. The other gave us y is minus half. If I put x as zero, I got two values for y that gave me two complex numbers. And if I put y as minus half, I again got two values of x that gave me two complex numbers more. So I got in total four complex numbers. And once I got that four complex numbers, I just found out sum of mod of z the whole square for all the values of z which belong to z s. So that gave me answer as five by two, and that matches with option. So D is the correct answer for all the question given to us. 
i hope you have understood this i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains as well as that so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also do like share and subscribe to my channel do share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of jwe questions thank you